On a late April evening, we are about four kilometers to the north of the celebrated city of Khajuraho, Madhya Pradesh, in the royal gardens of Rajnagar. This one in particular is called Pateria Kabag. Up until two decades ago, these enigmatic royal produce gardens had faded from public memory and were in ruin when, in 1998, the Khajurao Planning Committee made a holistic development report for the Khajurao Heritage Region and rediscovered these gems. Fast forward to April 30th, 2022, and the Visitor Centre for the Royal Gardens of Rajnagar is all set to be inaugurated. The centre has been built by restoring a small koti adjacent to the ancient Shiva temple dotted with several wells, including step wells and irrigation channels. All gardens share the same features. They are walled, they have a Shiva temple, a koti or outhouse, which is mostly used as a storage place, irrigation channels, wells and step wells, and for the function of the garden, most importantly, Samadhi platforms. The Belgian chapter of the Indian Trust for Rural Heritage and Development commissioned Tharatel, an Indo-Belgian architecture firm that specializes in heritage conservation, to build a space that would both serve the local community and the visiting tourists. Dharatal's interpretation of the new visitor centre seeks to balance the architectural innovations of the space with the unique Bundeli style that is representative of the local community. Beyond just restoration, the project envisages these gardens to emerge as centres of cultural wealth and sustainable development in the region. Let's hear from Mr. Nishant Upadhyay, founder of Dharatal. The collaboration with ITRHD Belgium chapter has been very interesting for us and has been a great learning experience and uh, it will continue to go on as we continue to conserve these dynamic agricultural heritage landscapes of central India and we hope that the project expands beyond Rajnagar to places like Gwalior and Orcha in future. Centre will serve as a training space for organic farming for locals and gatherings for community festivals and rituals. The completion of this visitor center marks the beginning of a massive exercise undertaken by ITRHD and Dharatal in reviving this lost glory of all the royal gardens of Rajnagar. This is a model of the Jaroka on scale 1 to 20. It has been cut with uh, water jets. All of it is built out of aluminium sheets. It was a huge puzzle that uh, had to be assembled on site, so that was again a big challenge for the contractor to understand the drawings and execute it and put it right on, on the site. And I will just show quick from the other side. This is the structure and it shows a bit how it was assembled inside the wall. What makes this intervention exceptional is its macro vision of perceiving restored historical sites as hubs of community development by engaging the younger generation in sustainable agricultural and tourism practices. Such projects are pivotal in allowing us to rediscover our cultural and ecological heritage while giving future generations a chance to connect with their roots. <laughs>